Gaurav has spoken to the commander Sanjeev Gupta and his wife Rekha Gupta as they recall commander Sanjeev Gupta's 18 long months in Qatar prison. Have a listen. With me is Commander Sanjeev Gupta and his wife Rekha Gupta finally breathing free air back home in India. Uh, Commander Gupta, many congratulations. You're back home. Did you think this day would be possible? Yes, we were very sure from the day one that we would be out. Uh, Indian government won't let us remain there. So we were very sure about it. You were sure that you will come back one day, even though you'd, you were in a solitary confinement, even though uh, you'd actually been sentenced to death? Uh, see, uh, we were in solitary confinement, I, but only after 30 days we realized that uh, what is happening, why, you know, we are inside. But after 30 days we knew that Indian government would take us out. Were you this confident, uh, uh, ma'am, uh, Rekha Gupta, uh, Commander Gupta's wife also with us? He was in solitary confinement, but this, these 18 months would have been torture even for you? It was, I was equally in pain as he was, but uh, I had a confidence in my Indian government and plus Modi ji hai mumkin hai. And they had given all the assurance to us, ke don't worry, they were very supportive all this uh, time while so I did not have iota of doubt that they are not going to come back due to our Indian government and Modi ji and our honorable EAM and plus ambassador of India to Qatar, Mr. Vipul. Yeah. So um, you were working for this company called Dehra Group uh, you, uh, in, in, in Qatar and you'd been working there for quite some time. What happened? Suddenly you were taken into custody. Uh, did you know why were you taken into custody? No, uh, we were not. We had no idea when we were taken in as why why we are being taken in. We had no idea. It's been it's been uh, four years, four years plus we were working in that company and in Qatar. So one day the police suddenly landed up, picked you up and uh, you were taken into solitary confinement? Yes. And kept there? Yes. And then? And thereafter, I mean, everyone is aware that there was a court case and we used to go in the court and come back. And that's what. There was a case against us. So do you get to hear the details of the case? What were the charges against you? What were you being, you know, uh, charged with? Uh, no. Actually, we had no idea as why we have <laughs> come in. I mean, all this guessing and all which was we are hearsay, which we were hearing. But... Formally, we were not told as what are the charges. Okay. Ma'am, what about you? Uh, what did you hear of? What did you get to know what was happening? And when did you know that they'd been arrested and put in solitary? I think after five or six days, Indian Embassy informed us about this, but there was no much clarity on this. We, it was all told that they have taken somewhere, but we did not have much clarity. And uh, or rest, everything was coming in the news, so we also did not know. We, till now, we don't know much about this case.